Well hello there, Shirley Rocks here, welcome to My Little Blacksmith Shop. This is version 0.071. Now, there's been a few changes in this and I thought I'd do a little video just to show you some of the changes because it is kind of nice. Now the first thing you might notice if you've not played this for a while or you've not checked this out since my last video is our starting location has changed. So, we're now in this little blacksmith shop. Um, it's, it is a little bit different. You used to go outside and up the stairs to go to bed. You don't do that anymore because you simply go in here. And this is your room now. So you got these nice little lattice diamondy windows that I can't smash. Uh, instructions are again. Now it mentions the part, part radial selection. If you press Z, you can now switch between blunts. Blunts? <laughs> blunts, blades, and shields. Shields aren't implemented yet, so don't worry about them. Uh, but you can do blunts and shields. So, if I go along to the handy-dandy uh, crafting area, let's just get rid of that. Okay, so if I put a couple of ingots on here, we'll put two on. Okay, we'll get these heated up now. So this this all seems to have changed. The, fur the furnace looks different. Uh, the... I'm sure the ingots are different as well. So now, now you can see now when they're heated. So, as always, drop them on there. Okay, so if I want to make a sword, I, I press Z. I go and collect. Collect. I go and slip, select blades. Now I come and. Honk. Yup. Yup. And bash, and bash, and bash, and bash. And there we go. Now we have a blade. Now look at the amount of choice we have of blades. So, regular blades, so that's one. We've got another one, that's two, another one that's three, another one that's four, another one that's five, last one is six. So six different blade types you can do. And you can also do this now. Now you can have them as heated up like that, but you can drop them into the water here. Into the water here, there we go. That's cooled. So. Now, say for instance, you do that and you're like, oh, I don't like that now. You keep bashing it. You're like, no, it's broken. No, it's not broken. If you put it back on the furnace, heat it up. Wait for this to change to heated. Okay. There we go. That's heated. Now you can bash it again. Change the type again. Also the same with the, oh, it's so burny. Right, if I go and get a guard for this, let's go and get a one-handed guard. Stick that on it. Hang on, we need the uh, the actual... Where are my hand guards? I've got loads of them. One-handed hand guard. Here we go. Let's go and put quickly put this on it. Okay, put that on the sword. Right, so say... Oh, messed up my blueprints. Wow, that looks like a lightsaber. Right, so, so say I've got this now, and it's the same principle. If I've got this crafted, and I want to change the uh, the weapon, now you can't just go ahead and bash it because it won't work. So you need to do a two-step thing with this. Well, first of all, I need to straighten the weapon. There we go. Right, so you need to bash it and separate it. Come on. It's kind of funky this, uh, doing this sometimes. So you just need to bash it until you can separate it. You're like, there you go. Eventually. Eventually. And now I've got my parts back off it. And then I can uh, just go ahead and forge it again. So, what else is new that I can show you? Uh, the ordering scheme, I believe, is still the same. There's nothing new on here. There is a new ingot type, I believe. Um, if you scroll down to the bottom, we now have got... Now, is it titanium is the new one? Let's quickly order one. Okay. Now, I can't remember if they're new or not. Because there was... the. They, they, they had replaced um, one of the ingot types, and I can't remember, that's how professional I am. Okay, so we've got our standard uh, shop. Nothing like this has changed. 
You can still open your shop. You can still name your shop. Still call it, you know, the House of the Lying Daggers. Change your colour, change your font size. There you go. Ah! No! No! Where's my button? That's what you're gonna love about these beaters. Well, early access games. I've actually got it stuck in ad mode. How do I click off that? Why will you not let me click? Why must you mock me? Oh, that seems, I seem to have, uh, I seem to have got that stuck. So uh, on that note, let me quickly, let's see if, uh, no. Oh, it's, it's slightly off the, uh, the selection. Okay. Yeah, my mouse is very off. It should be around here. No. Right, let's go into sandbox mode and see if that fixes it. Okay, it has. So, we've got this mode now, sandbox mode. So, I'm guessing this is for us to practice our crafting and skills. So, we can go over here, we can order loads of stuff. So, I can order loads of ingots. There you go, and they'll arrive. Fish bash, there you go. So, I've got my ingots here. I should really have done that over here uh well so you got your standard things here you got your you got your anvil you got your water you got your your crate there i don't know what that does uh for some bizarre reason you do start off with one flaming large blade there and there's my blueprint along with my pole arm now this is a new thing here now so what this is these are all the resources so this is copper so if you hit it, have a little look round. Oh, occasionally when you hit these, you will get chunks off them. Okay, is that a chunk? Nope. Well, that's no good. Let's try this one, tin. Okay. You'll, you can recognise the uh, pieces when they fall off. I think it's just like a random thing if you get them or not. Yeah, that's no good. There we go. So you get a piece of ore. So you can, then you can go along to here. And you place this on your furnace. Turn your furnace on. And that is going to turn tin, cool tin ore into an ingot. Do you have to heat it up twice though? It is cooled now still. So if you want to use it, you need to heat it up again. Heat that up again. Come on. There you go, heated. Now, what else is new that I wanted to show you? Oh, the um, the shields. Let's try and do that. Now, as I'm being exceptionally lazy, I'm not picking up all the pieces over there and taking them over there. So, let us be very much lazy. I'm going to order some of them. Now, bear in mind as well, the... The resources in this, well, the money, you have to use money to order your resources. And for some bizarre reason, the actual money you use in a single player is used in this. Now, I'm assuming that's a bug and it shouldn't be like that because it would just make no sense. Uh, I mean, if any of you sharp eyed people have probably noticed that I have, I did have a ridiculous amount of money. That's not because I've been going crazy. I did actually. Uh, I did a <coughs> cheat uh, to get that money. Gave myself, I think it was 10 million gold. But I wouldn't recommend doing that really. It completely spoils the point of playing the game. Anyway, I digress. Right, so we're selecting shield. Now the shields don't fully work yet, but you can get an idea of what you can make. So we get this. Now this is a thing called shield boss. If I rotate this over. Uh, I always forget how to rotate stuff. It's no, it's not shift. There we go. Now, if you've seen Vikings or any other film and TV show with these type of weapons, you recognise that as being the uh, 
the shine well it's the centerpiece of the shield so if any of you are at history buffs and you can let me know what that actually is is it just like a reinforcing thing is it part of a weapon or is it just like a keystone i don't know right so that's with one piece now if we go and stick another piece on actually we'll stick a few on get a few of these heated up so this comes in a number of stages for one piece so we're gonna get another heated one and we're gonna hit it again okay right hit it again so now we've got hand see i don't know if that's what the technical term is for it or if it's spelt wrong <laughs> let me just sh I'll, I'll get another piece and show you them both right so we've got the shield boss we've got the hand in arms and the wrist ones so we're going to stick all these bits on here i want some more of these heated up i'm going to try i don't think you can put four on i want to see what happens if you try and put four on right so we've got these now now these i think are what the uh, if you notice on shields the back of the shields you need something to hold on to so these are wrist and hand ones so you can have the wrist one so that'll be i imagine you'll have like a couple of these on the back and you'll just like stick your wrist through and hold it like that and then you've got these ones which are the hand ones so they're just going to be like you'll have like one or two and you'll hold it with your hand rather than your wrist so the only thing we've not got is the main central wooden bit now you can do a ring type object for this so we're gonna do one of those that takes three no now this if you ever have that happen where it drops the ingot is there you need to left click no 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 not left click right click there you go and i have now freed it up so here we go i'm trying to do the ring for the shield now come on there we go now that only seems to be the only design for it okay so now we've got a shield rim and we've got these two uh things here the shield boss and the wrist in arms now there must be another part of this so you need the actual wooden shield i don't know if you have to buy that at the shop but as you can see at the shop with the ordering you can't actually order that at the moment so yeah so it's just there to tease us so there's nothing we can do to order that as you can see no so we can't use it right anyway let's go back to the shop mode okay back to the shop what else has changed in this so the main world has changed because let me see where is the pesky thing now i'm looking for the giant golem type creature because you will see when we find it if we find it normally it hangs around here it i see you I've got a strange mist as well that appears. Don't know why. It just does. I'm sure I saw it through the trees. Oh, this as well. Check this out. This is pretty cool. Now, the crystals are always hidden throughout the game. I don't believe the developers actually said what the crystals actually do just yet, but I found this and I was like, oh, look at this, a pole arm. I can hear that going. Yeah, there's a shield. Look, so this is... This is like the shield. Maybe I could use the shield with the uh, the mount, but this is in the single player mode. Look, another crystal there. Nice. Now, with the mining in that sandbox mode, I'm wondering, ah, oh, if I could get resources from that, that would be awesome. No, you can't. Oh, that's a shame. Right, we are going to find this pesky golem. He's gone wandering. Here he is. Hey, Mr. Golem. Now, if you look now, it's animated. He walks around. Oh. <laughs> How strong am I? Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I appear to have made you stick, <laughs> stick on top of there. Okay, let's go back to the shop. 
Now, where was the shop? I think it was this way. Now, while, while I was playing this, uh, I did notice that this, this whole world where you come outside, I used to just pretty much ignore it, but I'm wondering if later on in the game it's going to have more of an impact. So, I'm going to go for a little tour now, so I'm going to take you over this way. Now, if you see these, uh, see this house up here. So, we'll go towards this house. Okay, so I think in the future you're going to be able to buy new houses. Because look, not for sale. So I think I think you're going to be able to buy these at some point. You're going to be able to gain access to them. Uh, the developer said he has put them, the shops, well, the other buildings down. But see, that looks like a furnace area, doesn't it? Look, there's not a lot you can do in it at the moment. Apart from peeking through the windows. <laughs> look at the column over there. So there's a couple of uh, buildings like that now. So there's our uh, shop. And there's another building over here. So there is actually, if, you, if you're looking to collect all of these crystals, there is another crystal over here. I'll just show you where it is. Come on, crystal. I can smell you. There we go. So that's like two, that's two crystals I've discovered so far. Don't know if there's a third one. So let us know in the comments below if you've managed to find any of the crystals. Now, I believe that is all the new features uh, demonstrated to you now. Um, I'm not actually going to bother opening the shop up and showing you that just yet. Because this is just a video to show you some of the, uh, you know, the cool new uh, graphics, the house. Uh, there's not nothing else you can do now. Oh, you can do a raise, so you could just get rid of all your uh, sales if you wanted. Nice. I believe you can press a P as well. If you do P, you can do your uh, stats. I'm only level one at the moment, so there's nothing I can do, and I've got no points to. Um, I've got nothing to, else to do now. What does it say there? Description to create. Ah, oh, it's the apparently the charisma is the only one at the moment that that actually has any impact on anything. So. I wouldn't go bother putting any points into anything else just yet. So, yeah, so that, that's it for this uh, latest update. Hope you enjoyed seeing this. If you've got any questions or queries about anything you'd like to see in this, just drop a uh, comment below. Okay, that's it for now. I'm Shirley Ox. This is my little blacksmith shop. See you next time.